The Stephen Sondheim, originally Henry Miller's theater, was designed in 1918 by theater architects Ingalls and Hoffman and independent architect Paul Allen. It was built for the visionary British actor and producer Henry Miller. Henry Miller came to New York and decided it was time to build a theater for himself. And he wanted an intimate theater for the American people. It's designed on the exterior to look like an 18th century building in Boston. And the interior was also designed to be a very homey place. Early on, Henry Miller's theater achieved modest success, including the first musical with a complete score by George Gershwin. When Henry Miller died in 1926, his son Gilbert took over the theater and many important plays followed, including Thornton Wilder's Pulitzer Prize winning play, Our Town. There are moments we're deeply enmeshed in nostalgia and at other times, the playwright forces us to step back and think about what we're seeing as we're seeing it. In 1957, Angela Lansbury made her Broadway debut at Henry Miller's Theater in a play called Hotel Paradiso with the great comedian Burt Lahr. I learned a lot from Burt Lahr, let me tell you. I learned so much about comic timing, you know, <laughs> and uh, it was a wonderful experience. Over the next 40 years, as Times Square deteriorated into a hub of drugs and prostitution, Henry Miller's theater became an X-rated movie house, and then the discotheque Xenon. In 1998, the nonprofit Roundabout Theater Company took over the theater and presented a revival of Cabaret. And then, just when things were going kind of good, a crane fell next door to the Henry Miller's Theater where they were doing construction on a new building, and the city closed the street. And in closing the street, closed our theater. Following the accident, the roundabout moved Cabaret to Studio 54. Henry Miller's Theater continued on with other productions. That could kill a show pretty good. Town, the award-winning musical, was set in a future where private bathrooms are outlawed and people must pay to relieve themselves. Freedom run away. The goal of that set was really to kind of make it reach out, surround the audience, so that they could feel like this kind of police state. Having that kind of sense of surveillance was really important to that show. In 2004, the building that housed Henry Miller's theater was demolished, with only its facade preserved. In its place, Bank of America and the Durst Organization constructed a skyscraper and completely rebuilt the theater. In 2007, the Roundabout Theater Company assumed management of the theater as a modern 21st century playhouse. And the city said, you can have bonus space if you build a state-of-the-art theater. And so that's how the new Henry Miller's Theater, now called the Stephen Sondheim Theater, came to be. One of its most successful productions was in 2011, a revival of Anything Goes, starring Sutton Foster as Reno Sweeney. Anything goes. What I loved the most about Reno, and also what scared me the most about her, was she was a broad, a dame, um, you know, highly sexual, highly confident, could walk into a room with great command and wanted every eye on her. That was really fun <laughs> to play. I don't consider myself that type of person. Much dorkier and more awkward than Reno. Sutton Foster sang and danced her way through two eight-minute numbers every night for more than 400 performances. Sutton is amazing to have the star of the show and the lead character sort of leading the production numbers as opposed to handing them off to the dancing ensemble was kind of wonderful. In 2010, Henry Miller's theater was renamed after one of the most important musical theater artists of his generation, composer and lyricist Stephen Sondheim. I felt it was really important to incorporate the one indigenous American theatrical art form um, into our mission, which is the musical theater. At the Sondheim, the Roundabout Theater Company continues to make the classics come alive for today's audiences.
You know, it's, it's a thrilling like moment in musical theater history of like the way things used to be and the essence of what that is and the joy.